Kirby Smart has built one of the most talented rosters in college football. Bulldogs, of course, gunning for the SEC in the national championship in 2021. Who are those players that need to make an impact? Who is going to make an impact from this 2021 class? Welcome to the Voice of College Football, SEC. We invite you in to take part in our conversations with you each and every day. Check out the content and join in. Let people know that we're here talking SEC football every day. So I'm taking this list from Athlons, but want to get your comments because, of course, the Georgia football team's loaded, but in losing George Pickens, also losing a ton of talent from the secondary Who's going to step up based on talent, but who's also going to step up based on need? Nylon Green, of course, showed out in the spring, played really well from this uh, 2021 class. Fourth-rated cornerback in the country from Covington, Georgia. Eighth-rated player in the state, number 71 in the country. And, of course, the cornerback position ravaged by the NFL draft with Eric Stokes, Tyson Campbell, and also Mark Webb was drafted. Uh, Tyreek Stevenson left for Miami. So cornerbacks are needed. Nylon Green, you're up. Broderick Jones, second-rated offensive tackle in the country out of Lithuania, Georgia. Third-rated player in the state, number 11 in the country. (laughs) He's way up there. All right, he did have 25 snaps in two games. So Athlons went with a guy that was already on campus that actually stepped on the field. I don't necessarily agree with that. I'm considering these newcomers, but they went with Broderick Jones because he didn't make an impact last season. Again, with his uh, 25 snaps, uh, he had a preseason leg injury prior to 2020 that kept him off the field. Kali Ringo, we go back to cornerback, top rated in the country. Uh, number two player, uh, number one rated player in Arizona and the fourth rated player uh, overall, Scottsdale, uh, Arizona. All right, so uh, he was redshirted based on a shoulder injury. So those are 2020 numbers at 6'2", 215. That's a big cornerback size for a young cornerback, especially, again, uh, did not practice until December. So we did get some reps late in the season last year on the practice field and then going into spring practice. Kali Ringo. Xavier Sori is the top-rated outside linebacker in the country. Coming out of high school football, seventh-rated player in the state of Florida. And the dogs ripped him away from Dan Mullen and Mike Norvell and Manny Diaz. 25th-rated player in the country at 6'3", 215. So how does he factor into a talented, talented Georgia defense with all uh, those players at linebacker, layer and layers and layers of linebackers. So maybe sorry, not necessarily needed in 2021 unless he just blows it up. And of course, uh, Brock Vandegrift, the quarterback, uh, second rated dual threat quarterback in the nation, top two player in the state of Georgia, number 16 overall. It's JT Daniels gig. No question. 10 TDs, two picks, 71%, 69% completion percentage. But The quarterback's always one play away. I say this all the time about the backup quarterback. He's the the, the most meaningless player on the roster because you only play one quarterback. You play multiples of all the other positions, but the quarterback, you only play one. So the backup's the most meaningless guy on the roster until one play. He's one play away from being the most meaningful. So... Does uh, Vandegrift, despite the inexperience versus some experience in the room, Stetson Bennett in particular, does Vandegrift possibly play himself into the mix as a backup? 6-3-205, completed 71% of his passes as a high school senior, 298 yards per game, 46 touchdowns and seven picks. And for his high school career, he threw for over 10,000 yards, 70 Nine touchdowns and 17 interceptions. That's the Georgia five, but we can include so many more. So do so down below in regards to the people that you believe will make an impact this fall for the dogs. And uh, again, please like, comment, share the videos out on social media and subscribe right here at the Voice of College Football, SEC.